I want to pivot for a second because, again, we're talking about search the artists. I want, I want to talk briefly as search the executive producer. Um, you've worn so many hats. I saw an interview and um, one of my all-time favorites um, from Queens, G-Rap. G-Rap said he was the one who actually brought Nas to you. Is that accurate? Yeah. So he, it's 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 really interesting because G-Rap was my man. Like, so where G-Rap lived in Corona was really close to my apartment, my first apartment, me and my now wife, then girl, had in Forest Hills. So he had an artist named White Boy. And I loved White Boy. Like, I loved the way he rhymed and, like, so I would go to G-Rap's mom's house and G-Rap's house in Corona, which was right near Left Rack. And this was about 92, 93. Yeah, 92, 93. And Large Professor's album, seminal album, Main Source, Breaking Adams comes out, Live at the Bar comes out. Everyone knows that verse, Nas's verse. Streets Disciple, my rap's a trifle. I shoot slugs from a branch. Just oh. like Stampede the stage. I leave the microphone split. Play pretty toughy while I'm on some pretty tone shit. Verbal assassin, architect pleases. When I was 12, I went to hell for snuffing Jesus. Nasty Nas is a rebel to America. Police murderer, I'm causing hysteria. My troops roll up with a strange force. I was locked in a cage and lit out by the main source. Swimming in Woo! the golf lifeguard. Put on a bulletproof, I strike hard. Kidnap the president's wife without a plan and hanging. Like the Ku Klux Klan, I melt mics till the sound waves over. Before stepping to me, you'd rather step to Jehovah. <clears throat> Slamming MCs on cement. It's verbally, I'm iller than the AIDS patient. I move swift and uplift your mind. Shoot the gift when I riff and rhyme. Rapping sniper, speaking real words. My thoughts react like Steven Spielberg. Poetry attack, paragraphs punch hard. My brain is insane. I'm out to lunch, God. Science is tied. Last, anyway. I could go on. So everyone knew that verse backwards forward. It was just incredible. And I go into g raps house and there's Nas, <laughs> nasty Nas. And he's sitting there and g rap introduced me to Nas. And at the time I was really trying to fuck with white boy and I was already signing OC and I was already kind of building my production company. And uh, he was like, yo, it's nasty Nas. And I'm like, oh shit, Nas, what up? And he was quiet. He was like 16 years old. He was just sitting there quiet. And um, he was too young. Like, I wasn't going to sign a 16-year-old kid. Like, there was just something about that moment that just didn't feel right. And I figured that G-Rap was going to probably going to sign him. It would been, you know, I, I didn't know. So, but yes, G-Rap introduced. And I'm, I, I see that day, one of my greatest assets and my liability, because, you know, it gets blurred is that I have this, a bit of a photographic memory. Like I remember things like where I was, what they were wearing, where they were sitting. And he had a, a sofa when he walked in the house, there was a sofa on the side of the wall and Nas was sitting in the middle of the sofa. Um, and I'll never forget that. And G-Rap was here, like he was here and white boy was over here and like, um, but yeah, he was, he was the first one. But I, I just, there was, I wasn't gonna sign him. He introduced me to him, and I just thought G-Rap was going to sign him. Okay, we've all heard the story, so we don't have to go deep down that road. But I do want to touch on something. Sure. This pivotal moment in hip-hop. Um, probably one of the biggest battles of our time, Nas and Jay-Z. If I remember this correctly, you're working at Def Jam at the time. And in New York in particular, Jay-Z is, is Jay-Z. He's Jay-Z. That's the heavyweight champ. Rockefeller. Nas was 100% Nas, but he at that moment was not as it wasn't player. like he was uh, you know, the Nas that 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 dropped Illmatic. He wasn't Nas was was definitely an icon. But Jay was the here and now icon at that moment. 
New York was split because people did not want to give it up and say that Nas body Jay-Z with that ether, with that ether solo. What, what went through your mind? And first and foremost, did you hear ether in advance? And what went through your mind? Number one is a hip hop fan when Nas came back with Ether. So I never heard Ether in advance. At that time, I was already not working with Nas. I had executive produced Illmatic and I executive produced, it was written, but Nas and I had a deal on it was written where I would be basically behind the scenes. Um, I had set up Ill Will Records for him. I'd set up his production deal and my responsibility on it was written was just to make sure the legal was right, make sure all the deals were done and that he had no issues. So I was already at that time working at Def Jam and also building Echo Unlimited. My, and I'm sure you remember this pretty vividly because we, you and I were both doing radio at the time as well. There was a round table on Angie Martinez show at Hot 97. Yep, I was gonna bring it up, so go ahead. K Slay, K -Slay Drama King, Funk Flex, uh, Angie Martinez. Who else was at that table? There were five people at the table. Oh. I don't want to do anybody. It was, it was Slay. Enough. It was, it was enough. It was a, a yep. Slay. Enough. Slex. Slay, enough. Flex. Angie. Cypher might have been up there if I could remember. Maybe. Might have been Cypher. But there was five people there. I'll never forget this. Never as long as I... Oh, the Cap. Rest in peace. Cap was there. I'll never forget this. I'll never forget this as long as I live. They're having this conversation and it's intellectualizing this battle. And I love it. I'm, 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 I'm living for it, right? And they're talking about the wordplay and they're talking about the effortlessness of how Nas fucking bodies him. Queens brothers run you brothers, ask Russell Simmons. Ooh. Crazy. Like, just, just. <laughs> How many of you, how many of those lies are going to come out your fat lips? <laughs> They're just breaking it down, right? And Angie is counterpunching. To be a good host, counterpunching, because it's obvious with Cap there, it's obvious that there is a lean towards Nas. And she is countering and doing what somebody's supposed to do in this position of being a host, which is you don't take one side versus the other. You allow your panelists. And as a moderator, you position. And this dude from Brooklyn calls. And I'll never forget because he said his name is blank from Brooklyn. And she said, and he said, yeah, how can I help you? And this dude live on the air said, yo, why are you sucking Jay's dick, Angie? Why are you, you on that dick? Why are you on his dick? And these dudes are like, whoa, whoa. And they're like, nah, fuck this. <laughs> He's cursing in his love. And she's like, yo, why I got to be on his dick? Like, why you got to be disrespectful? And he's, she's like, and, and then they click. That was the temperature. That was the temperature. People but I'm a, I'm a go, don't I'm really a, I'm understand the temperature. The temperature was that. And I'll fast forward. And I wish I could get Clark Kent on here right now. Because Clark said something to me about the battle and what, not, and what Jay said to him privately, and I, I can't, I don't want to speak out of turn because it's Clark's story, not mine. But that was the temperature. The temperature was palpable about, this was Ali Frazier. This was Ali Foreman. This was Foreman Frazier. This was Tyson uh, it's Hagler Hearns. This is, Tyson I mean, this Linux, is Hagler Hearns. Tyson, I mean, this was, this was two dudes in the middle of the ring just hammering each other. And you knew it was bad. And I say this to people, and people can say takeover better than ether, ether better than takeover. But I leave them with this. If Takeover was truly the knockout punch. Why did Jay do a second record where he talked about skating on his baby mamas? You don't go back in the lab if you won. 
you don't go back in the lab and demean the relationship that you had with Nas's baby mama to try to get points in the street. You don't do that. If that don't answer it, I don't know what does. And even, no. and Jay has said in the, and Jay has said in interviews that even his mother stepped to him and said, I'm really disappointed in you because you said that. So if, if Ether didn't body that record, why did Jay go back? And not only that, it's still like this. It's still like this. Nas on his last, on, on his last album, King Disease 3, right? SMH, on that SMH record. He said, yo, I'll still go to Jay and it's on, brother. They still, they want the title. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.